Here's a Vernco box VN. This is, I believe it's a 14 inch model. Now the cage is about 16 inches across. The blade, I would say, is about 14. And it's a two speed model. Oh, for heaven's sake, this is 14 inches right there. Darn. And it's a model L12. And this I always thought was kind of unique because it has two wolf positions on either side of the switch. Or on either side of the speeds, rather. And uh, this is in pretty good condition. As far as I know, it, the paint is all original. And it's a little dirty, but it's otherwise pretty nice. Let's be dusted off a little bit. Let's see if we have any more information on the bottom. The number of 04072, I don't know what that means. And uh, this VM is, uh, I've had this for a long time. This was one of the first vintage box VNs I had. When we first moved to this house, there was, I think it's still there, there was a, a antiques rummage store kind of a thing. Not too far from here. I used to go there occasionally. This is one of the things I got there. The store is kind of a dive and the hours were weird, not posted anywhere. Uh, but anyways, those stores that are a dive usually have the best stuff anyways. So I got this there other things but um I used to use this a lot in the bedroom window which I, I wish I hadn't done that because it's grills got kind of yellowed from the sun exposure but I used to use it in the bedroom all the time because the low speed was real nice and quiet you know for the night and uh looks like I assembled it wrong <laughs> at some point because the there's a little notch here in the guard which is probably where you now the cord is supposed to go down and go through. You can see there's a little bit of a, a bend in it where it probably passed through that hole for 50 years. But, uh, you know, I didn't know any better at the time, so it is what it is. I really should um, take this apart now that I know how to do stuff like this. I should pull the blade off. Split apart the motor, clean the bearings out, and give it a proper full servicing. But uh, it runs pretty well for what it is. It does have oil ports on the motor. Let's see if we can see that. Now you can kind of see it now. I don't know who made this motor. I don't think it has any identifiers on it. Oh no, it does have an identifier on it. If we can read what that says. It says, um, uh, it doesn't have a name on it, it just says uh, number E40070 and it's 1.6 amps. Let's trade it, Paul. Probably a, uh, looks like a 4 pole maybe? can't really see it. But anyways, it's got a rubber handle. So, um, let's go ahead and plug it up and I'll see how it runs. It's got a uh, nice green or blue cord, whatever it is, I don't know. It's in pretty decent condition. I haven't run this in a couple of years now. So let's see how it's working. That dog needs to keep it down a bit. Let's start off on low. It seems like it's running just fine. Yeah, it's going. It's got a really great low speed to it. Real quiet, but it's still pretty powerful. Nice, gentle, steady stream of air. Perfect for those warm summer nights. 
in the bedroom window. It's very, very, very quiet. Very smooth running fan. Blade is in perfect balance. I don't feel it shaking at all. Alright, let's go up to high. There's a big jump to high. Still very, very balanced. You can't feel the blade vibrating at all. And this is moving some air. Spin down time. Hopefully, there we go. Bearings seem perfectly happy, even though they've never been thoroughly serviced. I don't think this has too much of a startup sound, but let's see if we can for whatever it has. This will be high. I guess it does have a little bit of a startup sound. It's got wet. I must have had it in the window during the rain or something. Let's see if I can get a picture of that information's tag. Uh, not really the angle is very terrible all right let's try low such a nice gentle slow speed really a good good quality piece from Vernco.